Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting system of equations. We have ax plus by equals 3, ax squared plus by squared equals 7, and then ax cubed plus by cubed equals 16, and ax to the fourth plus by to the fourth equals 42. And we're supposed to evaluate ax to the fifth plus by to the fifth. So we're supposed to find a numerical value for this based on the given equations. Now this problem is actually from Amy, American Invitational Mathematics exam, which is a three-hour test, and you have to solve 15 problems. Problems are really hard, they get harder and harder, and most students will get a zero. Anyways, so let's see how we can handle this problem. We have ax plus by equals three, so here's what I'm gonna do. Since we were given ax plus by and ax squared plus by squared, I'm thinking about how can I get to the second one from the first one. And the method to do that, one way to do it obviously, there's more than one way to solve it, is gonna be multiplying this expression by x plus y. You might be questioning like, why are we doing this? When you multiply these, you're going to get ax squared and by squared, that's why. Not only that though, because we're gonna keep doing this for different powers, but you're gonna get extra terms. What are you gonna do with them? Let's see if, what happens. So distribute ax squared plus by squared, and then you're gonna get axy and bxy. Now, this is given as three, so the left-hand side becomes three x plus three y, and this is also given as seven, and this can be factored. So we can write this as seven plus xy times a plus b. We do not know what a plus b is at this point, or neither do we know xy or 3x plus 3y. We're gonna leave it at that because this equation is gonna come in handy later. So let's go ahead and save it. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to repeat this process. This time we're gonna multiply the second equation, which is ax squared plus by squared by x plus y. And this gives us ax cubed plus by cubed. By the way, I'm multiplying these first, and then the other ones next. And then we're gonna get ax squared y plus bxy squared. Awesome, let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit more. ax squared plus by squared is given, which is seven. So this is seven x plus seven y. And the right-hand side, these two, we already know they are they add up to 16 good and then these two can be factored we can take out xy and inside we get something that should be familiar ax plus by awesome we also know that x plus by is equal to 3 so from here we get something very important 7x plus 7y equals 16 plus 3xy awesome we got our second equation. I'm gonna number these equations. One, two, three. This is one, this is two, and then we're gonna come up with one more, okay? The, to come up with the third equation, I'll take the third equation and multiply by x plus y again. You get the pattern? Now, if I distribute, I get ax to the fourth, again, multiplying these first, plus by to the fourth, and then ax cubed y, plus bxy cubed. Let's see. Now we do know ax cubed plus by cubed is equal to 16. So this is 16x plus 16y. And this is also given as 42 in the equation. Remember we had four equations from first power all the way through to the fourth. And then these two can be factored. We can take out xy and this gives us ax squared plus by squared. And that should be familiar, right? What is ax squared plus by squared? It's the second equation, remember, that's a seven. So we get another equation like this, and this is gonna be our third equation. Now, we are going to take number two and number three together. Why? Because we only have two variables, so two and three. That's why numbering the equations is very helpful. Now, if you go ahead and write down the equations, the second and the third equations together, uh, you get the following, seven x, plus 7y equals 16 plus 3xy, right? And the third one is 16x plus 16y 
is equal to 42 plus 7xy. Awesome. What can I do with this system? Solve for xy and x plus y. So you can kind of call them s and p for sum and product if you want. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to isolate xy from each of these equations. Right? Is that true? Actually, no. I'm going to isolate x plus y from these equations. From the first one, from this one, I mean, uh, by the way, not I shouldn't say first. This is equation number four. This is equation number five. From equation number four, I can basically take out a seven, factor it out. So x plus y becomes 16 plus 3xy all over 7. And from equation number 5, x plus y becomes 42 plus 7xy over 16, because I can factor out 16. Makes sense? And then, since both of these are x plus y, they're equal. If two things are equal to the same thing, then they are equal. Makes sense? So this equals this. Awesome. Let's go ahead and write it down. We can go ahead and write it as 16 plus 3xy over 7 equals 42 plus 7xy over 16. Now, if you do cross multiplication, you're going to get something like this. 256 plus 48xy equals 294, that's 7 times 42, plus 49xy. Bring the xy's together, subtract 48 and subtract 294. Notice that we're going to get a negative number on the left-hand side and xy on the right-hand side. So xy is going to be negative. 256 minus 294 is negative 38. So xy is negative 38. And then by substitution, because we have two equations, right? If we know xy, we can go ahead and find x plus 5 from one of these equations, either 4 or 5, doesn't matter. But xy, x plus y, I mean is going to be from here, negative 14. So we got those two values. What can I do with them? Do we have to solve for x and y? No, because they're asking for, or the problem is asking for x to the fifth plus by to the fifth, right? To get that, you take ax to the fourth plus by to the fourth and multiply by x plus y. Just like before, same pattern applies. So we can keep going. Now, when you distribute these, you're going to get ax to the fifth plus by to the fifth which is what we're looking for, right? And then we're going to get ax to the fourth y and bxy to the fourth. Notice that uh, x and y switch around. And now ax to the fourth plus by to the fourth is known. It's 42. So this becomes 42x plus 42y. Or I could probably leave it like this because I know x plus y. So 42 times the quantity x plus y. And this is what we're trying to find. And here we can take out an xy and ax cubed plus by cubed is going to appear again. Now, we do know xy is equal to negative 38. Nice. This is negative 38. We do know this because it was given. Remember, that was equation number three, the very first uh, group. And then x plus y is also known, right? What is x plus y? It's negative 14. Remember that? And if you do the math, going to get the value of x to the fifth plus by to the fifth from here. So the answer is going to be 0 to 0. Why do we put a 0? Because on Amy, all answers must be three digit integers and leading zeros are allowed. There's basically a multiple choice test with 1000 choices. Can you imagine? Try to guess, right? And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care. And bye-bye.